Speaking of awkward. Yeah. Are are any of you nerds? And of those nerds in the house, did any of you go to that terribly frightening thing, Akon? So, well, you might enjoy this story then. Oh, there I was. At the robotics and Star Trek convention. What do you mean, what's Star Trek? It, it's, it's only one of the most important shows ever. It, it, it broke new ground in broadcast history and, and opened an entire new genre to, to the world. I, I mean, sheesh, next you're going to be telling me you don't know who Han Solo is. You, you don't know who Han Solo is? What, what's wrong with you? No, no, I'm telling my story. Shut up, it's super important. <laughs> So anyway, there I was at the robotics and Star Trek convention. My phaser pistol in my hand. Well, you see, a phaser is the standard sidearm of the Federation of Planets. It uses a stream of concentrated nadion particles to liberate atomic nuclei, thus disrupting nuclear forces. I mean, it's, it's simple physics, really. Wait, well, how am I supposed to know where nadion particles come from? What am I, some kind of nerd? <laughs> Anyway, anyway, uh, so there I was, in front of the robotics and Star Trek convention. I had been counting the weeks before I could approach this, this most sacred of sanctuaries, this, this haven to trekkers and roboticists. <laughs> roboticists. <laughs> roboticists. <laughs> Robo-dudes. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so there I was. And before me was this most holy of places, the Newark, New Jersey International Airport Radisson Hotel and Job Placement Center. <laughs> well, well, yeah, I know it sounds kind of dumb when I say it like that, but I mean, you kind of had to be there to appreciate the majesty of the place. You know, the, the way the sun glistened off the motor oil in the parking lot, the, 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 the sounds of the airplanes taking off and taxiing on the runways, the smell of that one homeless dude who puked between those cars. <sighs> anyway, anyway, so as I made my way through the entrance to this wonderland, I made, way, I made my way past just a veritable gauntlet of security volunteers and vendors' tables. Their shiny bubbles could not deter me from my chosen course. The temptation of scale model starships from distant future realms. The siren song of handcrafted, limited edition, fan sculpted replicas of the com badge concept prop from episode 15. But no! No, I would not be deterred. No, as I pressed on, I made my way through the crowd of my fellow convention goers. No Klingon was too fierce, nor any con goer too unwashed. As I approached my goal, the crowd pressed in upon me as though the galaxy itself sought to keep me from my task. But no, I did not relent until before me, I saw, I saw a sight which would make any true fan fall to his knees and weep, and I did. There was Dean Kamen, inventor of the Segway scooter, <laughs> and Will Wheaton, boy wonder of the, of the Starship Enterprise, and a beacon of hope to nerds around the world at the same table. <laughs> Cautiously, and with great reverence, I approached these titans of men. And then, and then, and, 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 but then I peed. 